Hello everybody and welcome to this really lovely interior uh, of this Humber 40. I'm going to take you on a virtual reality tour of the interior so you can hopefully feel what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. So whether you like the look of her and you think you might like to buy her or if you just like a tour around a really lovely boat to see what they're like, this is one of them. It's absolutely lovely on here. So all you need to do to look around where you like, when you like, you don't have to look where I look, just click and drag your screen or swipe your screen up, down, left or right and you can look around to your heart's content and I hope that you'll feel what it's like to be inside this boat and how the space flows. It is really lovely here, so I've just come into the boat through this lovely wide companionway down the nice easy steps. We've got handholds all over the place to help us through. We've got a really nice companionway here. This closes very easily and lets light and air in and even when it's closed it's uh, uh, smoked tinted so we've still got air coming in. Uh, but if you want to stop the, uh, sorry the light coming in, if you want to stop the light coming in we just close all the curtains apart from I think on the front windscreen there. So a, lot, a good degree of privacy. Uh, when you come down here as you can see lovely lovely open area we've got seating all around here really comfortable very very soft great uh, the upholstery looks in great condition to me as does the carpet underneath here we've got access to both of the engines there we've got a, a port a, a movable saloon table i'm sure there's storage underneath these chairs as well but uh, other than that you can see we've got uh, light colors we've got light wood we've got dark curtains and contrasting carpet etc feels fantastic great big windows so we've got a great view out over the uh, the neighbors because we're higher than them generally and they're tall windows so Lots of them, loads of light coming in, lots of openness, so lots of ventilation, etc. Really, really lovely. Head heights, well, there's loads. I'm five foot nine, well over six feet there. It gets only gets higher as we go forwards in here. So really, really airy, great views all around, brilliant for what's keeping us see. Rule five of the coal rigs. We can see behind us as well if you take the curtains down with a couple of small blind spots there. But generally speaking, really, really lovely. And you may well be coming alongside under the flybridge control anyway, so you can see the front, both quarters too. Really, really fantastic. Uh, we've got drawers and cupboards underneath where you're sitting, we've got a drinks cabinet there, a lovely big one, Sh fiddle shelves on top, fiddle shelves, storage, drawers everywhere, 240 volt sockets everywhere, USB charging here and there too, just a really really lovely area and uh, frankly I don't want to leave, <laughs> it's really fantastic. Let's pick you up though and move you over in this direction and I'll place you uh, towards the helm console. I have to be a little bit careful because my uh, camera stand is a bit wobbly. If you fall over, I'll try to catch you. But it, you can see a lovely comfy seat, so room for two easily. The helm will sit there with the, the twin throttles, the electrics panel, the wheel, port and starboard engine, uh, control and uh, instrumentation, smattering of uh, navigation gear here, stereo, nice radar, uh, switch gear, and the, the VHF sitting there too. A great view to port, starboard and forwards. And if you look back that way, we can see out of the back um, if we just took the curtain away we could see uh, have a full view there as well so really nice high commanding position looks great looks comfy and I think I could quite happily spend some time here as well absolutely lovely so let's pick you up again and take you down the uh, companionway one two three steps down really nice and easy very easy to get around this boat there's always something to hang on to lots of strong woodwork and fiddles all over the place that brings us to the galley so here we are um, what do we think well it's uh, large we can work the galley and other people can get past us nice and easy we've got the big windows above us so it's lovely and bright in here we've got two opening windows here which look down to the water which i love because we're on a boat we need to see the water right it's just lovely they open so we can let our cooking fumes etc condensation kettle steam go out Nice sink and a, and a drying area, lots of workspace underneath here. We've got drawers galore, cupboards galore. We have a microwave fitted under here. Four burner gas hob here, which is great. Cupboards above, fiddle shelf, plate stowages, more cupboards, double socket there for the kettle and a nice big fridge there too. Really, really lovely and uh, all looks in great shape. There's evidence of a bit of wear, of course, but generally speaking, this is just lovely. I absolutely love it. Okay, let's pick you up again and take you to another nice, lovely part of this boat. I will probably use that term too much, I'm very sorry, but uh, it is what she is, I think. So this is the... Um, the midship's cabin, so we're underneath the helm console. 
Nice size, twin beds there. I don't think there's the option to make it into a double, but correct me if I'm wrong. Big um, cupboard unit in the middle for your uh, alarm clocks, your iPhones, all that kind of thing. Um, but generally speaking, a really nice area. Lots of lovely wood in here again as well. Looks really great. We've got an opening window. We've got curtains. Of course, we've got reduced headroom above the head end of the beds, but you'll only be lying down there anyway. I think certainly on the outboard one, there's, there's uh, room there to sit and read a book if you really want to. No problem. Carpet again. Really, really lovely. And a great big... Uh, locker behind here uh, room for all sorts of stuff in there and we have jack and jill access to the head so we can go into there without going out into the corridor and in and without disturbing the occupants of the forward cabin and also the forward cabin they can get into this head without disturbing you in here and without having to go out through the thoroughfare and into a door really great idea and just means uh, it's just that little bit more uh, private and quiet very good okay let's lift you up and take you through to the heads compartment I was just talking about there we go so again nice and bright opening window we've got a, a, a lovely sink in the corner we have an electric head which would be if you're sitting here you'll be facing to the port side very nice and easy to clean nice radiuses just to give it a quick wipe no worries at all and a really lovely thing about this boat we've got this square island in right in the middle of the boat and what have they done they just put a complete shower compartment in there so actually a proper shower compartment or a shower area just like at home really so stand in there the water stays in there all goes down the plug hole job done don't see that very often especially on a boat of this size so i really like that as you can tell right then let's pick you up again we'll go forward through the jack and jill entrance to the forward cabin there we go try not to let you fall over although you're sitting on the mattress you're slightly wobbly the boat's moving a little bit too because we're at the uh, entrance near, near the entrance to brighton marina Lovely cabin, lovely sized bed, nice and wide, nice and long. Uh, access, so we're at an island bed, we have access up little steps port on starboard. We've got shelves, we've got shelves, uh, uh, that is that must be access to the anchor locker, I'll have to check, but looking really, really lovely. Obviously it'll look better when we've got lovely bedding on, but we've got a nice padded headboard, plenty of headroom in here still, I'm five foot nine, well over six, does go down a little bit as you go that way, but you're going to be in bed over there anyway, and you can see the flare of the bow, so again we're in the boat, we've got uh, nice downward looking windows looking out down towards the water, they open too, and then behind the doors big wardrobe even bigger wardrobe i'm not sure where they get all this space from but it's absolutely great right then let's take you from the front of this boat all the way to the back so a bit of a walk we'll go this way and we're down this companion way here nice and easy to get down again i'm loving this curved door look at that that is brilliant if i just close it behind me you can see it absolutely brilliant just tailor-made for the boat lovely so uh, there you go you're sitting on the uh, the aft double and um, you're at the back of the boat, so the transom's the other side of there. We've got a double. So, of course, it's a climb over job if you're sleeping aft and there's somebody here. But you've got a nice padded headboard. You've got a shelf. You've got a, a hatch and an opening window to light, to let light and air in. And uh, we've got storage around there. We've got a nice vanity unit here with drawers and cupboards. And uh, I'm sure there's probably some storage underneath the bed as well. Lovely, great big area. Um, again, over six feet, I would say, here. And look at all this changing room here. Absolutely fabulous. Nice full length mirror as well, we don't see that on many boats around here, so yeah, feeling great. And then finally, um, oh I should just point out here, we've got the biggest uh, wardrobe I've ever seen on a boat probably here, um, almost floor to ceiling, plenty of room in there for a long time. And uh, let's pick you up and move you into the final compartment which is the after head or the en suite. And as you can see, nice bijou compartment, nice and easy to clean. The toilet, if you're sitting there you'll be facing to starboard and we have a little sink, uh, it's an electric toilet by the looks of it and a window that opens for ventilation How, what could be better about the interior of this boat okay let me pick you up and i will uh, stop ranting on about how much i'd like this boat um, and uh, move forwards and take you back up to the saloon where i'll just summarize let's plonk you there so this has been tim from boat Shed drop brokers taking you around the interior of this humber 40 thanks for watching hope you've got an idea what it's like to be here it's lovely <laughs> And uh, yes, if you like to see tours of boats in 3D or not 3D, just go to our YouTube channel, Boat Shed Yacht Brokers, and uh, you'll find hundreds there of uh, v reviews, videos, tours of everything from the smallest little fishing boat in the marina all the way up to the biggest, most expensive gin palaces we have here. Thanks for watching, take care, and hopefully we'll bring you lots more boats like this.